So today I'm going to look into the murder of Ash Baker. This is a murder that I have not heard of. It happened about eight years ago. I actually just stumbled upon it because it was on YouTube. Um, and the girl looked like Nicole Kessinger to me. And she even acts like her. So, um, Ashley Biggs was strangled with a four foot long zip tie by the father of her, chi her, her child and Erica Stefan... Stefanko, <laughs> Stefanko, then husband Chad Cobb, um, and I, and I, ugh, I can't even talk. An Ohio mother of five has been charged in connection to the heartbreaking 2012 murder of Ashley Biggs, who was working on a Domino's pizza delivery um, as a delivery driver when she was allegedly lured to her death by the father of her child and his new wife. Officers with New Franklin Police Department arrested um, Erica on Monday last year in November, close to eight years after the police say she allegedly placed a fake Domino's pizza order to coax Biggs, 25 years old, towards a secluded New Franklin business where she was killed. Um, Stefanko, 36, who went by Erica Lyon at the time of uh, the tr crime, is now facing a number of charges, including aggravated murder, kidnapping, for her alleged connection to the homicide. When Biggs, an Army veteran, arrived at the location with the pizza delivery in June 2012, investigators say she was ambushed and strangled with a four-foot-long zip tie by Chad Cobb. Stefanko's then-husband and the father of Biggs' child, um... Cobb later um, stuffed Biggs' body in the backseat of her car and abandoned the vehicle in a cornfield in Chippewa Township, which is located in Wayne County, Ohio. Authorities eventually located her body on June the 21st, 2012, and arrested Cobb on the same day. In 2013, Cobb was convicted but avoided the death penalty in a plea deal. He is currently serving a uh, life in prison without parole. Investigators believe at the time of the gruesome murder, Biggs and Cobbs were having an ongoing custody battle over their then six-year-old daughter. The former pair were never married. Um, they finally indicted uh, Stavinko for multiple charges after investigators obtained new information about the horrifying case. Stefinko, a mother of five who has since remarried and was taken into custody on Monday after her children left for school during a routine traffic stop. She is now facing 12 charges including aggravated murder, murder, kidnapping, aggravated robbery, gross abuse of a corpse, felonious assault, retaliation, tampering with evidence, grand theft of a motor vehicle, and possession of criminal tools at this time okay so and her trial's going on right now so the mother of chad cobb because he had tried to appeal right he had tried to appeal like chris watts is like this whole case and i gives me chris watts vibes anyway so he had tried to appeal but that did not work so his mother who hung on to this recording <clears throat> um of Stefinko, um, pleading guilt, you know, like telling what they did and saying she didn't feel sorry. She was like, the only thing I feel bad about is what we have to go through now. Like, God, heartless. Like, I didn't even know they made bitches like this. Excuse my language. But I swear they, I didn't even know these bitches existed. Just don't give a shit. You know, and not only that, but that six-year-old little girl See, the reason that she killed, they killed her, is because Stefinko came up with the thing in the video. She was already there. She already decided that the only way that there was going to be any resolution, because Chad was going to go ahead and just give up his custody rights or whatever, to the six-year-old. And she was like, no, we just got to kill her. Like, it's in your court if you don't think you can do it, you know. Like, this girl... Sounds just like Nicole Hessinger. I swear this is her twin or something. They look alike. They sound alike. 
y'all just have to go watch with me thing and I swear. But she ate, she made that little girl eat dog food. After she killed her mother, like what? And he, you know, he was staying out for her, but then she moved on and just like Chris Watts. Anyway, so I want to see what, what part Erica Cobb really had in it. I know she had everything. She probably did it, but let's see. Good day, guardian angels. Please join me. Let me know that light. Keep me safe from anything negative or anything that could do me any harm. Spirit guides, will you please show me what the care is? What part did Erica Stefinko have in the murder of Ashley Biggs? Spirit guides, please show me what part did Stephanie Stefinko have in the murder of Ashley Biggs? It says a chariot in reverse. You have the page of wands in reverse. And you have seven of wands in reverse. Okay, well, that's an interesting deal. Okay, um, the second question. Why did, can you please show me with the tear why Erica Savinko pushed so hard for, for the murder of Ashley Biggs? Why did she push so hard for the murder of Ashley Biggs? Please show me the tarot. We got the Ace of Cups here. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Star card. Okay. And then the third and final question. Why was Erica Stefinko so evil? To the little six-year-old girl after her mother, after they killed her mother. Why was she so mean to the little girl after she had already killed her mother? Like, okay, so we see the tower in reverse. We see the king of swords. And the hangman. And on the bottom is the queen of swords. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take a minute, I'm going to meditate the cards, we're going to get back, and we're going to get into it. <clears throat> okay, so what part did she really have? Well, with the chariot in reverse, you know, this speaks of forcefulness, um, no control, powerless, aggression, obstacles, being warped by your obsession with a goal. Um, it can also indicate lack of control and direction over your life. Um, being at the mercy of two opposing forces and the obstacles, you can't seem to, you know, muster the strength to get over them. Um, life's just dragging you around as it pleases, basically. <laughs> Needing to tie up some loose ends and take charge of your destiny. Um... It's, obs it's an obsession, it's forcefulness, being too aggressive towards your goals, you know, rushing into a decision. So, because he wasn't going to do it, she didn't feel like he was going to do it, that's what I get off this card. She took the reins and got the driver's seat, got her there, got her there, implemented the first part of the plan, or you know, to progress the plan, which is the page of wands in reverse, which is being impatient, lacking ideas, having tantrums, being unreliable, and, you know, distracting, distracted, you know, basically you can't focus unless it's gone. She made it such a big deal in her life. Um, you know, you've been talking, basically, I guess they had been talking about it. They had been expected, she expected, you know, it would grow, but she got nowhere. And it's a failure for him to commit. He was failing to commit to it. He was unreliable. And she had to get the reins and overcome it. And as well, it was a financial opportunity too, but... And she had to protect what was hers, like standing up for herself or him, defending herself, 
protecting her territory, you know? Because she was obsessed with Ashley, it seems. She was not going to be happy unless Ashley was gone. She's always felt that she would have competition. These women that get with these men that have children and cannot accept the babies, uh, the mother of the child, or can it can't accept anything, you know? Can't accept anything, and if you can't accept that, then you don't need to be with that man. You don't get to kill the woman that came before you. You know, she felt like she had to go through the struggle to maintain her position, you know? The difficulties that she, you know, she didn't want to have to continue to try to, like, be the only woman and defend her title and to prove herself. You know, this is about holding your ground, you know, somebody's challenge, no matter what's challenging your position, needing to defend the position and take a stand against those who are aiming to take your spot. And maybe she thought she was trying to get back with them. <sighs> Keep it, you know, fighting for your beliefs and, you know, confront those that may threaten or oppose you or your beliefs, you know. Setting boundaries um, in a relationship, fighting for your romance, fighting off competition, defending your position, facing challengers. Okay, second question, why? Well, the Ace of Cups, you know, she was like, this is creativity, new feelings, emotional awakening. It shows that it's time to let loose of whatever emotional baggage, you know, you have and start to live your life to the fullest. I believe that um, the little girl, their child was meant to be done away with as well, but things didn't work out. They wanted, she wanted a new beginning, a fresh start, you know, opening up yourself to new possibilities. Um, the ability to make you emotionally fulfilled, a new romance, friendship, taking the next level in a relationship, a deeper intimacy. A jolt of creativity, financial assistance as well, and creativity and earning money. Because she knew that she would have money on her, and she was like, well, we can kill her. I get her alone because this is an independent woman. You know, she was very self-sufficient, and that's something that was envied by Erica, obviously. Highly envied. She won, and then, you know, because of the kid that she had with him, she would get money from that. She was fighting, and they were fighting custody battles. It was taking so much money. She wanted, the, and she needed some money. She wanted to take that financial opportunity as well. Get her while she's at work, while she has money. Take the money and kill her. What a great day for her. killers, I guess. Um, it indicates rewarded efforts, achievement. Um, self-sufficiency, you know. Um, like the other nines in the tarot, sometimes it can indicate not reaching, um, not reaching the completion in your journey. Something, you know, there's something missing, you know. So, maybe it was supposed to be like, um, maybe they were going to, she was going to try to make, they were going to try to make money from her missing, but they didn't get to finish whatever they, their plan was because she only ended up in a cornfield and it wasn't really that hard to find her. They didn't make it hard necessarily. But she wanted, you know, to be the only, the one woman standing, you know. She didn't want to have to um, fight for her position. She wanted to just have it. The star card represents um, hope, inspiration, positivity, you know, faith, healing, um, healing from past wounds. 
high hopes, reaching goals, and remaining inspired. Mm -mm. That's after the tower moment. It's the most public. Maybe she wanted, maybe their plan was to do like, to get public help. Like, if she was missing, you know, how they do the GoFundMe's and stuff like that. They pretend like they're so broken up about it, but they really weren't, but it didn't work out that way for them. So, why was she so mean to the little girl? Well, I think it's because initially the plan was to kill her. Um, because the tower reversed in the case of averting disaster, delaying the inevitable, resisting change. It can show feeling some type of crisis looming and struggling to, you know, try to avoid its manifestation. The tower is built on faulty foundations and it must fall, you know. Though the destruction will be painful, you know, there's a humbleness that it brings with us, you know, with it. What you relied on will no longer be there. It's a very drastic, 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 I can't even say the word, depressing and very wide range. Um, change, traumatic. Um, it's a time for someone to become more self-reliant. It can show making like adjustments in love, leaving a weak relationship, um, avoiding taking risks, all that. Trying to do avoid the tower, like she wants, she kept her took care of her because, or made the appearance as though, because of the King of Swords, which is, you know, authority, cops, you know, high standards, morality, integrity, strict, high, you know, controlled, controlling her emotions, um, is the stern but righteous mentor, challenged to do your best, and acting logically. So, act, you know, the need to act logically. I feel like they are both um, just as bad. They both belong in prison. But I do feel like he told her, you know, I'm in jail. We're in this together, but I need, you know, you take care of the kids. I'll let you stay out to take care of the kids. Blah, blah, blah. You try to help me get off. You take care of my little girl, but that's not what... She was doing she was probably more mean to that girl than we even know and then the hangman is sacrificed um as well as waiting um uncertainty and lack of direction it reflects a particular need to suspend certain actions so she had to stop her plan her plan which was to do away with the little girl too because she was jealous of her inevitably too and in her, um, the tape that, that Chad's mother made of her confessing to her part, she also stated that the little girl was already too far gone and had been tainted by her mother, you know, basically saying that there was no point in her being alive because she's just like her mother. She had made Ashley out to be this horrible woman for some reason. I don't know why women want to do that. But she made her eat dog poop. Like, this woman, in the cold passenger, she's like, make babies to get, not make babies, but go to hell together. Um, it implements the thing that you want to do, or need to do, in order to achieve the success that you wanted, is to wait for it. She had to wait, she had to suspend what she, you know, her <clears throat> action because he had made the sacrifice. He had to go to prison for it and she was going to have to take care of him. And she blamed it on, like, Ashley and the daughter. Like, she's like, no, I'm not sad about murdering her. I'm sad that of all this stuff that we're having to go through now. 
Like, what an easy fucking bitch. I'm sorry for cussing, but this woman is a whole nother level. Love y'all.